What's up folks? So today I got something pretty exciting planned. I'm doing a reel shootout. So we've got four reels in the regular reel shootout. Of course there's the Pisifan Phantom because that kind of is the whole point um, of this shootout is to compare the casting performance of the Pisifan Phantom uh, to some of my own reels. And well, these are the other three reels. So we've got the Phantom. I'm going to set that aside. Then we have the Shimano Scorpion XT. Let's see if you can see that. 1501. Okay. Now, this is one of my, uh, I would say it's one of my favorite reels. It's my favorite platform. All right. The Scorpion XT platform. Same platform as the Curado E. Same platform as the Krona E. You know, uh, this is my favorite platform. I think in the entire Shimano lineup. Okay, the next we have Scorpion DC7. Same family, same platform, except that it's the DC version. Okay, so these two reels are no longer in production, but they're from the same family, from the same lineup. One is DC, one is Centrifugal. And last but not least, we have the Shimano Metanium DC XG. So this is the 2015 Shimano Metanium DC. It's one of the most popular DC reels in the world, in Japan even. I mean, of course, there's the Antares DC, which is the highest end, but it is not the most popular. The Metanium DC is the most popular one. All right, so those are the four reels I'll be doing, uh, I'll be using for this shootout. And I'll probably post some pictures here and there uh, with details on like the retail price of the reel, whether I have any modifications done to the reel, uh, the weight and all that, all the various details. Yeah, I'll uh, maybe I'll roll some music and I'll post some pictures with the details right about now. Alright, so that's what we're working with uh, for the regular reel shootout. Let's cut straight to the... Oh, you know what? Let me just uh, explain the test format first. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to use uh, the same rod, right? All these four reels are going to be paired with the same rod just to keep things um, fair. I'm also going to be using the same weight, which in this case I'll be using an 11.7 something... Yeah, you can take a look at the picture. 11.73, I think, uh, gram metal jig. So that's what I'm going to be using to cast because metal jigs are the easiest to cast and I kind of want to get a pretty uh, streamlined, pretty steady result. And we're going to do five casts per reel on the same rod with the same lure. And I'm going to take the top three, which means out of the five, the longest three casts, and I'm going to take the average of that to get the final result, and then we'll compare to see how each reel, where each reel stands in this lineup right here. Okay, so I'm just going to cut straight to the casting footage, and yeah, we'll pick it up after that. Alright folks, so first off, we're going to test out the uh, Pisifan Phantom. I have it on a 6106 TMFB, you can see right here. All right, same rod going to be used for all the tests, for all the reels. Uh, for the settings for the Phantom, I have it set to spool tension so that the spool doesn't wobble. Okay, I have the centrifugal brakes inside turned completely off. And I have the magnetic brakes set at 10. Now, for all these tests, folks, what I'm the brake settings are, you know, ideally, obviously, you want the brake settings to be as low as possible, but I'm human, so... What I'm going to work with here is a break, the lowest brake setting that I can manage in this condition, in these conditions right here. As you can see, it's a bit windy. So I'm going to have the reel set up to the lowest that I can manage right now, all things considered. So they might not be equal across the board. Then again, not all reels are equal. So we'll just, we'll just do it that way. So uh, we have the Pisifan Phantom Cast 1. Okay, so Scorpion 1501 XT, 
cost one. Thirty, thirty-two. Okay, cast number two, Scorpion 1501 XT. Thirty-seven. Cast number three. Thirty-nine. All right, cast number four. Thirty-three and a half. Cast number five. Thirty-six and a half. Okay, Scorpion DC seven. Cast number one. We have. 44 meters. Scorpion DC7 cast 2. Okay, let's see. 42. Scorpion DC7 cast 3. 43 and a half. Forty-four and a half. Alright, Scorpion DC cast five. Forty-five. And PE on the inside. Alright. So Shimano Metanium DC XG um, first cast. Forty-seven. Let's go forty-six point five. Forty-eight point five. Class number three. Forty-eight. Cast number four. 50.5. Cast number five. 47 Phantom cast one. All right, so we're going to stop exactly where my FG knot meets the roller, and we have 39 and a half. So I'm just going to note it down in my app here. All right, cast number two. 45 and a half and make sure this is reset okay. 48 and a half okay Pisifan Phantom cast 4 43 and a half. Okay, Pissifan Phantom, cast 5, last cast. 
right i would say 43 and a half but it's closer to 44 so let's just give it a 44. all right folks so uh, i've got the results in uh, tabulated it got the averages and here's how it turned out we've got the scorpion xt uh, the Scorpion 1501 XT that is all the way at the bottom followed by the Scorpion DC followed by surprise surprise the Pisifan Phantom in second place and at the very top pretty unsurprisingly the Metanium DC now an important thing to note about uh, about these reels what surprised me was the performance of the pisifan reel i was not entirely surprised that the scorpion xt achieved the, the low distance that it did in relation to the scorpion dc and the metanium dc you know as you can see the scorpion xt averaged 37 and a half meters across all casts whereas the scorpion dc averaged 44 and a half meters and the metanium dc averaged 49 all right, so that was not an unexpected result for me because DC reels really genuinely do cast a lot better, in my opinion, than non-DC reels, at least in the Shimano lineup, which is the lineup that I'm most familiar with across all brands. So yeah, big surprise here, big, I, I don't want to call it an upset, right? It's not an upset, it's just, a, it's a pleasant surprise. The, the Pisifan Phantom, I mean, I've used it quite a few times since I got it and I knew it, it it was a pretty good caster I just didn't know that it casted that well in relation to my other reels uh, and keep in mind that's like a $90 reel and it went up against reels that anywhere between $250 to $550 retail so where, where some might ask where where's all that extra money going right yeah well warranty for one you know with the big three whenever you buy a reel from them you generally get a pretty robust warranty you, and with that of course with the quality control and all that, it comes with a lot of assurance that you know stuff doesn't go wrong randomly when you're dealing with cheaper reels there's a lot of unknowns which is why testing it out like what like what i'm doing testing it over time durability testing it doing a review which is why it's so important to get all the these pieces of info and put them together to form a clearer picture on whether any given reel is actually worth um the discount so to speak and so far the pisifan phantom is uh, scoring pretty high in that department it casts well um i'm not about to, a lot of folks have asked me about how well it casts uh, BFS class layers and my my response to that has always been it's not a BFS reel I'm not going I'm not about to test it for BFS layers. Uh they it would be unfair to test a reel outside of its element. And yeah, I think it's not exactly this wasn't exactly the most scientific of uh, of reel shootouts but you know, I tried to keep as many things constant as possible. I tried to keep the lure constant. I tried to keep the rod constant. I stayed in the same spot. Um, I tried, if, if there was any wind that suddenly picked up, I wait for it to die down and stuff like that. You know, I use the same measuring tool. So yeah, um, I hope this was a bit informative for you guys, give you guys a bit more insight on how the Pisifan Phantom casts. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, share my videos with your friends, and stay tuned for the BFS uh, shootout. The, vid, uh, the, the footage is already shot, I did it at the same time as the regular reel shootout, so it's a matter of just editing and uh, getting that video out. So hopefully I get it out either later on this week or sometime early next week. So stay tuned for that. Tight lines, guys. <music>